Thanks, Tom. You bring a very different aspect to the um, conference, um, and many viewers will be wondering what has magic got to do with a conference like this. Um, how did you discover that magic can uh, make an emotional connection between a company and the clients? Well, um, my first job was uh, being a magician uh, before being the CEO of a tech company, and. I realized like that uh, magic is, is an emotional process and you can use magic as a tool of communication to connect the brand and the spectators, uh, what we call uh, on the event industry, the attendees. I like to call them spectators because I feel the more you integrate them into a powerful experience, the more they will connect with what, what, what's happening. You know? And um, as a magician, I mean, magic creates uh, uh, three very powerful emotions, which are surprises, interest, and joy. So imagine when you know to create a magic tricks and you understand the emotional process of connecting people, and you can, with, on a very simple, it's like, it's like a recipe, you know, some very simple ingredients that you can integrate into any kind of event, and, uh, and you understand the process. Well, this is what I'm trying to do, and this is what I've been trying to share uh, with uh, everybody the last two days. Mm, interesting. Um, at the uh, Congress, we're going to be using a, an app that your company has created. How does this, how have you combined magic in with this collaborative app? So the app here, the goal of the app is to push what we call uh, collective intelligence. So uh, the traditional meetings where it used to be very pyramidal, you know, we have a speaker and, we, and attendees listening to it. And right now we are really moving to uh, what we call collective intelligence and technology helps to leverage collective intelligence. And collective intelligence is like we are putting people, we connect people together through the technology so they can work together, brainstorm together and create a lot of input. A lot of input and with, by leveraging uh, knowledge, we are going to create input and then we are going to take action and it's going to be interesting for, for the company. So the, it's magic, so where is magic in, into that? Well, like I said, magic creates positive emotions, so I'm like, okay, what kind of game, what kind of uh, apps, what kind of functionality that can create differently so uh, we'll be able to engage people differently? Uh, I'm sure you have been using a poll or a quizzes in any kind of event, so maybe like we've done today, we are going to say, Let's use a little race. This is what we've done today. Like where it's not going to be a basic pole, but we are going to have people competing to each other, racing to each other on a mini game. So we want to push engagement, to connect the people. We want them to really share uh, with everybody, and uh, we don't want to have shy people anymore. Any conference, and it's just a fun way to in introduce gamification inside the software. So this is where I will say that uh, magic has been inspiring me. Uh, to because technology is cold, so how do you put like emotions inside the technology? And this is where it's, I've been inspired. Mm. Would you say that's the way that mice events are moving forward? This collaborative, collecting information. I, I think like uh, and it, the, the the mice is definitely uh, transforming right now, and uh, and I think it should. Be, we should be. It's going to be like it's going to completely transforming because uh, we are using new new things. I mean, like we are talking about uh, how can you capture emotion on your face or facial recognition today? Uh, how will you be connected every time? And how we are going to collect input? And the, f the more input we collect, the more it's going to transform to to a new format. I think we are going through new format, definitely. And actual format are, are changing. Yeah. And lastly, what role do you see an umbrella organization like um, you know, CO? What role do they play in the MICE sector? I think in ICO is, I like to say, avant-gardists. They are trying to, to bring and to take all that leaders in this industry and say, okay, uh, what's next? And uh, this is what's happening, what's going to happen, and we need to start to sit at a table all together and we need to brainstorm and we need to do the work to we need to shape the future together. You know, it's not going to happen by itself, you know. And uh, the, we need to create that input, we need to collect that input right now from these people to shape what will be next. And uh, we know it's coming, but we need to work on it, you know. It's not going to happen just uh, in a snap, you know. And, uh, that's, so I think UNICU is doing this job like pretty. Uh, Amazingly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.